Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. Oh my gosh, I had so much fun on the table today. Yay! Two days in a row I got to play on the table. So delicious. I am going to try desperately to make this an exclusive video for Patreon and for my hands-on students that take the Sunday class with me, the Altered Book class. So, very fun project. Went pretty quickly. Uh, I had an intention and I had to alter that as I went, which happens sometimes in our world of mixed media. So, see you on the table. Alright, here's our project for today. Very fun, very simple. Uh, the supply list was underpants and distress inks. I used the, uh, oh, what did I use? Broken China Oxide and Vintage Photo, Stabilo, Cabinet Card, Microscope Slide, a couple of dots. Um, this is the Rust Paste, which I'm really having a blast with right now. Bird cage with some rust on it, a little bird feather in there, a little embellishment of a heart. So, um, E6000 I used a little bit, and tacky glue I used a little bit. So, I'll tell you. I'll tell you more about it. Okay, I haven't even cleaned up my desk from yesterday, so I have everything still out, but I have an idea. So, I have to hit while the iron is hot. So I have, I'm going to be working on just a one page spread today with some underpants and my uh, duct tape or my heat foil tape, uh, three microscope slides, a cabinet card, which is a photo on a sturdy cardboard. They come that way and I'm going to be using my rust pastes with the turquoise acrylic as well. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to go ahead and put underpants on both of these pages because I'm sure in the future we will want some underpants on both pages. So I have my underpants here, my little box of underpants. No space on my work area, but an idea percolating and I want to get to it. So I'm just going to apply some Mod Podge to the two pages and start gluing underpants down. We've all done this. Hopefully by now we are quite familiar with the whole underpants. So just go through, get it done, bond with your pages as you're doing this. Enjoy some of the old pages. Alright, I have underpants on both sides. It's a good beginning down to the final pages in this book. This is uh, the bigger book that I have. I believe I got it from Dina Dana. Wouldn't surprise me. I'm going to put some tacky glue on the back of my cabinet card. Take my silicone brush, smoosh that tacky glue around. Lay that down in about the middle of the page. I'm going to hold that down as firmly as I can. Then when that dries, we will go on and play some more. i got to go walk Hudson. All right, we beat the rain. Hudson got his walk before the rain. I have some heavy books on top of that cabinet card to hold that down. This is um, Broken China, the Oxide Inks. And I'm going to take some Distress Oxide to this side as well, just around the picture. These edges can be torn off. Grab my sandpaper, rough the pages up a little bit. I'm grabbing the vintage photo and just putting a little bit of grunge on there. I don't know what's going to go on this page, but eventually something will.
Beautiful. Now my focal point is about seven, a little bit more than four, a little bit more than seven. So a little bit more than four by seven. All right. That's what I'm going to be playing with. So I need a piece of the duct tape, about seven inches, and then also about four inches. So I'm sure I've got more than seven inches here. And we're just going to cut that in half. So the foil part has been cut, and then I can just rip the paper part. And then I will cut that about seven inches, a little bit longer than seven inches, right about there, a little bit long. And I'll cut the other piece at seven inches as well, or thereabouts. And these pieces I have cut, and I want them about four inches. I don't care if it goes over a little bit. And I need two pieces that long. Set those aside. I'm going to go ahead and start with the sides of the focal point. Really burnish it onto your focal point. In my case, I have the cabinet card. I'm going to put another strip along there. Really burnish that down with my bone folder. Put one piece at the bottom and one piece at the top. Now I actually don't like seeing this foil, so I'm going to grab my underpants and I'm going to put some underpants on that to hide that. So I'm just going to go around the edge. I tore these uh, pieces of underpants straight so I can just go right up to the edge of that focal point in the foil. Okay, so I have underpants around the focal point. Yes, I covered some of the background. We will deal with that as we go. But that looks much, much better around the picture, not seeing all that extra foil. So I was going to use the microscope slides on here with the foil. But the foil is so distracting that I'm trying to think of a better way to do this. So I'm bringing out my box of dots. Yes, I am. So what if we put a dot there and a similar dot there and kind of put that microscope on there so it's lifted up from them a little bit. Yeah, I think that's kind of fun. So let's just try it. All right, need a little bit of tacky glue. I'm going to put some tacky glue on the bottom of that dot. And place it by his head. A little bit of tacky glue on that dot and place that by her head. And some tacky glue on the top and on the top. And you know what? I don't know what's going to happen. We shall see.
and we are going to leave that alone to dry. Ooh, that's the hard part. So while that is drying, I'm going to bring in my rust paste and I am going to rust up that foil. I have a straight edged brush and I'm just kind of stippling it on there. I don't care if it goes over the edge. Stippling it onto that foil. You probably can't see my rust pastes. They're there. They're there. Go in for the yellow, the gold. Then the rust color. And I have a little bit of the turquoise acrylic paint and I'm just going to stipple some of that on there as well. I'm just going to go around the whole frame working a small section at a time so that the paints don't dry while I'm working on them. Alright, I have the rust all the way around. I'm going to go ahead and let this dry, then I'll bring my Distress inks back in. Alright, first the Broken China. bit of sandpaper, vintage photo, distress ink. I'm going to bring my Stabilo in, of course. Play around the edge of this and the edge of the page. So I have this very cool uh, bird cage that I have rusted. I had rusted that in the past. As you can see, this is going to be a very bulky page. There's no way my book's going to close. I'm grabbing my E6000 since this is metal. And I'm going to stick that down with my E6000. And I'm just going to grab my E6000 for this little ditty here too. Put a little heart lock on the side. So I've gone back to my dot box and I just found two dark dots. And I'm just going to glue them on to the glass over these gold dots. I think that will be very, very fun. Since I have my E6000 out, I'm just going to use that. Put it right over that gold dot. Here is our completed page for today. Isn't that gorgeous? Microscope slide there. A little rusted bird cage up there. Rusted around here. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. And no, my book isn't going to close. And yep, I'm okay with that. So go create, go play. Go, have fun.